Uh, we have uh, right at about 100 members here at the Gilcrest Club now. And our predominant hunt here is, of course, a good southern quail hunt. But because of the diversity of the game that we have here at the Gilcrest Club, and this time of year, we had the opportunity to invite Pam down here to hunt something that is unique to Florida, the ability to harvest an alligator. So uh, we went after one of the oldest creatures that roams the, this part of the woods. Gator hunts, you know, they're, they're, they're difficult at times, other times they're not. It depends on the weather, you know, how, how the, the gators actually cooperate with you, if they've had pressure on them, if they haven't had pressure on them. It can be hard and then again it can be easy. Here at the Gilcrest Club we have the opportunity to hunt alligators and the traditional way in Florida is to uh, bait the alligator, uh, harpoon the alligator, and then uh, kill it with a bang stick, uh, which is a very exciting way to harvest an alligator. Due to the property that we have at the Gilcrest Club and the permit that we have, we have the unique opportunity to go out and harvest an alligator with a rifle. You decide to get in the waterway and let me know. You better not let me get in the water with him. <laughs> the accommodations are outstanding. I felt like a princess in my room and it was, it was nice to be able to hunt all day and you know rough and tough in the woods and then come back to such a quaint place to stay. And she's gunning for one of the oldest and deadliest game animals in the world, the swamp dwelling alligator. Is this your first Pam? Alligator, yeah. Okay. I killed a crocodile. How'd you shoot the crocodile? Obviously With you a shot rifle it. from a distance. Okay. <laughs> While on a recent Big Five hunt in Africa, Pam took aim at a similar but completely unrelated species the African crocodile. Okay, Pam is out of the water now. Let's just see if he presents us with something suitable. Pam, he's stopped moving now. Okay. This is perfect, you see, he's got his head up on the other one's back. Yeah, clear. Just, just a little bit behind that smile, that's where we want to take him. Ooh, he's a fatty. He's big. He's a nice crocodile. How old do you think he is? What'd you say they live like? They can live up to over 100 years old. This guy's probably about 40 or so. The alligator and crocodile are quite different. The alligator features a broad, U-shaped snout, an olive black coloring, and grows to 14 feet in length. The Nile crocodile has a more pointed, V-shaped nose, a light tan or olive color, and can grow up to 18 feet long. It's a little tougher to shoot one with a rifle. You're on a boat, the boat's not perfectly still, the boat's rocking. Your gator, he's usually swimming, and all you've got is eyeballs and a nose sticking out of the water, so you don't have a big target. Because of the watery habitat, a heart-lung shot's not an option on an alligator, which must be killed instantly, or it can get away and be lost. A basking gator does show enough of its head, though, so that a hunter's shot can find enough of its primeval brain. Now it's time to get that ammo into action on the water and in the wilds of the Gilcrest Club in North Central Florida. See that little green clump? Uh -huh. And then it kind of falls off into the grass. Uh -huh. That little pocket there, uh -huh. he's in that pocket. He's in there where that bush is sticking out, ain't that him? Mm-hmm. It's 8.30 and it's do or die. Now y'all got to talk to each other, so. Hold on, let me, we gotta be super still though. I mean, I'm not super, super steady, but I don't know how much more steady you're gonna get on a boat. I mean, that's the only chance you've got, Pam, is we got to, uh, if we crank this boat and move it, yeah. he's probably going under. Okay, I'm gonna try. Short, reload, he's still up. Short, you shot short. Now just raise from whatever you just did. Yeah, just relax. If, if you need to move, let's move. Let's put it on safety and let's figure something out. It's not as yeah, easy she, as it looks, I will just, say that. 
Where is he? There he is. Between you and the big pine tree. Straight out in front of the boat. He's facing out this way now. Right, so, in other words, you can just do, see his nose better. sticking better. out? Right. You can just see his nose and eyes? Oh. The flat part behind his eye. Yeah. Come down just a little bit and try to hit him there. He's moving. I'm trying to let him go into my crosshair. Hey, got it! Go to him, Marty. Ooh, you got him that time. Oh, look, look, look! Get the rod and reel. Smoked him that time. With the pressure mounting and time running out, Pam finally put the killing shot on this ancient beast. That is one big lizard. I don't know why everything has to be a process with you, but <laughs> <laughs> you did finally get him. <laughs> did some damage to it. They can fix all that. Finally, this is not as easy as it looks shooting in a boat, is it, guys? No, it's no, not. It's not easy. Well, you look at what you're looking at. You don't yeah. have much of a target there. The Winchester bullet did a number. Yeah, we got to give Pam credit for what she did today. I know it was tough for her um, with the boat moving. Um, if you have wind blowing and, and whatnot and people on the boat, uh, you know, you're, you're up and down, up and down. She did a great job. When you're trying to shoot a gator, you've got to be comfortable and steady. And it's tough to do on a boat. Finally got rested good. She made a totally excellent shot on this gator. Hit him right where she was supposed to hit him. The gator rolled up like he was supposed to. We went straight to him, picked him up. And it was a pretty easy deal. Lots of laughs and lots of learning all came together to make a great hunt with a happy ending for Pam and her gator guys. Mm -hmm.